The debug run to cursor command lets you continue program execution to a specific position in your file while debugging without having to create a breakpoint. To demonstrate this command, let's take a look at debugging this JavaScript file. And I'm going to debug it using a JavaScript debug terminal. So here in the terminal view, I'm going to say create JavaScript debug terminal. You can see that I already have a breakpoint set on the first line here. And now in this debug terminal, all I have to do is say node index.js. And we have successfully just automatically attached. And we are debugging. Now say that I want to investigate what's going on inside of this conditional here. So normally I would go and I'd create a breakpoint. But once I'm no longer interested, I would then have to go and remove the breakpoint. Um, and I might forget to do that and hit that breakpoint unexpectedly again. So that's where the run to cursor command comes into play. I'm just going to place my cursor on this line and then open the command palette with Control shift p or command shift p on Mac and say run to cursor. And when I do this, you can see that sure enough, the program execution has gone and jumped to my cursor position without me having to create a breakpoint. And I can just continue on, can investigate what's going on there. I could use this command again to go to the next iteration if I wanted to. So I can just keep using that. And if I want to go to the end of this entire program, I can just put my cursor down here and then use the run to cursor command again. And now I've completely bypassed this entire, this entire loop and I'm at the end of the program. The debug run to cursor command can be really helpful when you're debugging complicated code and you want to go to a specific line in the file without having to actually go and set a breakpoint, which you might need to clean up later. So that's the debug run to cursor command.